Welcome to EE Know How. In this video, we will look at the current and voltage in an inductor. So, let's assume a current I of t. It's a current that varies with time I of t. Then you can have a switch. We have an inductor of inductance L. Now you close the switch here at time t equal to 0. So now the voltage across the inductor V L of t is written as L times d i of t over dt. So the voltage across the inductor is developed only when there is a change in the current. So if I of t is a DC current, I, say for example, does not change with time, then VL of t of any t would be zero. So there would not be, it's a pure short. The inductor is a short, so it, it, will, it will just short the current source. And so, for example, now let's take a current which is increasing all the time. That is, with a, a current that increases with time linearly. So, you got time here. Then this is the I of T. So, assume the current is I of T is K times T where k is a constant. So now, if you calculate the VL of t for this case, which would be L di of t over dt, so it will be d of k times t over dt, that would be k times L. So what it means is if there is a current that's input into the forced into the inductor which is increasing in time like this you would have a constant voltage that is developed across the inductor and that voltage is so K times L. That's the voltage that is developed across the inductor, a DC voltage. Now let's take another case where you apply a, you put a voltage source, a DC voltage source V, or I should say a VFT, not a DC voltage source. I'll say VF, VFT initially, and then you apply it across an inductor. Now the current flowing through the inductor with the voltage across the inductor. So what happens is V of t is applied directly across the inductor. So now I L of t is 1 by L integral V of t V L of t dt. So now assume V V of T is a DC voltage source. So assume you got a DC voltage source applied across the inductor. Now this is V. Now we try to plot I of T here. So now V L of T is a V. So <coughs> I L would be 1 over L integral 0 to T and then V dt that is V over L and you integrate it with 0 to T which would be Vt over L. So what it means is with respect to time the voltage keeps increasing across the inductor but 
in reality this does not that the current keeps increasing um, across the inductor but in, in reality this does not happen because there is always a source resistance for each of these voltage sources R. So that would limit the current to once it increases to a certain level it limits to V over R. That's the upper limit for the current. 